in here. In here, like it's in there, like swimwear. Okay. Well, first and foremost, I welcome to the stream. It's probably really weird seeing me without glasses, but it is what it is. Um. So we want to wait here for some people to come in and, uh, you know, just before we get the stream started, just saying what's up. Monica Graham, what's up? What's up? Ooh, my 67, what up? David, what's up? Shrogi, what's good? Isaac, what's up? Raphael, Amy, Mortality, Mr. AJ, Travis, Bottle Fumo, Garrett. What is going on, everybody? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. What's up, guys? What's up? How is the mic sounding? Does the audio sound good? Does my microphone sound pretty good? Yeah? Jonathan, what's good, man? Jo Jonathan Colin, what's up, man? What's up? What is good, everybody? Everybody is having a fantastic Saturday, I hope. And it's weird seeing me without glasses? Yeah, I bet it is. It's strange? Probably so. Sounds perfect, dude. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Well, as we all know, Sabaton has come out with a brand new album. Now, we've reacted to some of these songs in the past. We've reacted to them on the channel. They have some reactions on the channel already. More power to it, doesn't matter. Sabaton dropped a brand new album. So we're gonna be checking it out. And I wanted to do a uh, full album stream. Um, thought that that would be pretty cool. Didn't know if I wanted to host it on Twitch or YouTube, but it doesn't fucking matter. Let's get into the damn reason y'all clicked on this video. It's been about two minutes since the live stream started, so we're going to wait a couple more minutes just to let people trickle in here. And let's see what you guys are up to, man. Can't stay long, Alex, but well, I think it's a fantastic album. Have fun. Thank you so much, Everett. Appreciate that, Everett. Uh, Daniel, what's good, man? Walter, what's up? Leonidas, hello, hello. Bryce Mitchell, you're my favorite, man. What's good? Um, Kirk, Jack, Raphael, you guys are awesome. Much love. Welcome. Okay. I have the luck to see them live at Hellfest. No way, dude. Fucking awesome. The opener has a breakdown that is brutal. I was actually just listening to the new album, says Greg. That's awesome, man. Hey, how late? My yo. Got to graduate. I don't know what that meant. What's up, guys and gals? What's up? What's up? Yo, you made great vids, man. Thank you so much, dude. All right. I'm watching this, all of this, says Holly. Well, thank you, Holly. Whole bunch of cool sounding names here. Hell yeah. Yo, dude, I'm from Sweden. Much love to Sweden. Been doing a lot of online work for college. Hell yeah, dude. Good stuff. Good stuff, man. Your eyes are so big without glasses. I know. I know. Um, I have contacts in. You still in college? No, I'm out of college, out of law school. Spotify album don't have songs. Sorry, uh oh, we're already missing a song. Okay, three minutes in. FIFA in this stream, dude. That sounds awesome, bro. So, the war to end all wars. It's a ten song album. 40 minutes, dude, and it's gonna go so fast that I know that I'm not gonna want it to end, so that's kind of just how these things work out, you know? Anyway, let's dive into it. Link to the original video is not down below in the description, but it probably will be after the stream. Um, anyway, I don't know. Y'all drop some comments down below letting me know if you like these live full album reactions. You know, you can chop it up after and uh, put, it on, put it on the YouTube. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, everybody, so let's get it. Sabaton dropped a brand new album called The War to End All Wars. We've reacted to some of these songs before. Let's get into it. Ten songs of power. I saw that the charismatic voice just dropped a video with the lead singer of Sabaton. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It'd be fantastic. Um, anyway, it is what it is. So let's get it. And guys, just so I know, y'all are saying that Sarajevo, Sarajevo, um, is not on Spotify, but it's on YouTube. What order is that going? I don't know. But if we're missing a song, we'll get to it at some point. Okay? All right. Let's go. Someone's out. Jonathan Colin, you're out? Haven't even started. Fuck is happening. Ah. Oh. Please go on YouTube. Yes, it's true. 
should be first. Oh, Sara and Joe. Okay, it's the opener. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, let's do that then. Let's do, uh... YouTube. Hey, look at this. Look at this fool right here. <laughs> it's awesome. All right. Sabaton. Uh, Sara Javo. One day ago. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, so first off, we got Sara Javo. I don't even know if that's how you say it. Um, yeah, we're watching your stream until then. Cool. Thanks, Bryce. All right, so let's check this out, man. I want to pull up the lyrics, actually. Sabaton. Sara Javo. Lyrics. Boom. This song is about the shots in Sarajevo and the assassination of Archduke Fransford. Oh, we've... Fransford, name which escalated the situation. Counts as the major cause rule. Have we already reacted to this? I don't know. Hey, Alex, love your reactions. You need to do some more shine down. Would love to see you react to Planet Zero. Thank you so much for the donation. That's crazy. Um, all right, let's get into it. It's time to feel the rest. No, we are not going to listen to your by. damn ad. They call us musicians. All right, here we go, guys. For decades, the Austro-Hungarian Empire had been a powerful influence in the heart of Europe. Okay. Resting on a legacy, their house kept stability, order, and peace. But not everyone bowed to this power. In the summer of Dude, I'm so excited for the, the new Sabathon, bro. I'm so excited. Is visiting Sarajevo, unaware of the assassins awaiting him and what will come. I gotta turn this up, man. Two shots are fired, and the Archduke is dead. Oh, wow. The Empire cannot let this go unpunished, and the first declaration of war is made. It's got that ballad-like atmosphere to it, just that epic, something super epic about it, you know? Oh. We got that slow build, mm. Chaos and shockwaves spread from the Balkans across the globe. Alliances are put to the test. Dude, this narration is super cool. And armies are put on high alert. In the east, the Russian Tsar is trying to calm the situation with his cousin, the Kaiser of Germany. I feel like I needed to have that stank face the whole damn time, you know? But it is all in vain. The situation is out of control. War is unavoidable. Oh, shit. I feel like I'm about to start riding on some motherfuckers. One thing that I want to know is I want to be in the studio with Sabaton while they're recording because it sounds like they have a lot of layers to their vocals, which is super interesting. Um, he's got a Joachim, right? He's got a powerful enough voice that I almost feel like he doesn't need to have uh, a lot of backtracks on those. But, you know, it's, it's going. It is what it is. Rob Squad Reactions. This is going on the workout playlist. Oh, my God. Rob Squad, everybody. Yo, if you are not following Rob Squad Reactions, what the fuck are you doing? Do it. Get back to the song. How's the audio, guys? Audio is good. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh.
It's like that chunky salsa vibe. Wow. This is the epitome of power, right? Wow. Can't turn it up loud enough, I know. That's seriously 100% accurate. <laughs> Look at that guitar. I'm sorry I can't play you like that. I am sorry. I've tried. Oh. <laughs> the world, hey! <laughs> and their courses are so catchy. It's really, really good. Wow. The Battle of the Frontiers starts in August as soldiers cross borders and bullets are fired in rage. War Dude, begins. That what a good way to start the damn album. So guys, real quick, why is that album Whoa, sorry. Why is that song not on Spotify? I don't get it. I really don't understand. And I want to say Lego Master the first. Thank you so much for the ten dollar donation. That's awesome. Maybe some more three days grace. Would love for you to react to albums like Outsider and Transit of uh, Venus and Life Starts Now. Much love, man. Um, let's see. Let's see. Told you the breakdown was brutal, dude. The breakdown was fucking crazy. The breakdown was nuts, man. Sorry, Yavo. Sorry, it's pronounced Sorry, Yavo and Yoakim. Yo yo Got it. Sorry, Yavo and Yoakim. Thank you so much, Doug. I appreciate you. One more request. Alex is some more corn and Whitechapel as well. It would be greatly appreciated for sure, man. Is it, it is Alex just under a different name? Okay, cool. So uh, let's continue. Let's see what that said. The song is about. The, okay, the shots fired. Okay, wow. Yeah, man. That's insane, brother. Starting the tone right away like that, it's insane, dude. All right, so now we got Stormtroopers, man. This new album so far is unreal. Already, one song in and it's unreal. So right now we got the second song called Stormtroopers. Uh, let's dive in and see what it's all about. <laughs> Jesus! They didn't wait any any amount of time. The drums, unreal. Pay attention to those drums. <laughs> okay. Out of the trenches, the stormtroopers raised. Are they kind of talking about like the people on the front lines? Not, not quite positive. Um, wow. Just the sheer intensity of this, right? They're not stopping. This, like, think about this. All of Sabaton's songs are about war, about history. So a lot of times that energy is mirrored with the song. It makes me feel like there's combat going on. You know, it's just so intense. Click, bitch. I love how he like rolls with ours. Infantry attacks, exposed in the cracks. You come up, ideal song, the Kaiser Strike and 
Yes. It's so powerful. It is so powerful. Yes. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I love the dynamism already, man. Ooh. Do I even need to show you all the damn goosebumps? Can you see? Yeah. Jeez. Not all some some of them. My show is seeing Sabaton now. To be honest, I mean Sabaton are come with them slappers. And just listen to this, man. The music does the talking, bro. Hmm. Makes me just want to put my hands up. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. Every song? No! <laughs> ah. When I listen to Sabaton, it's nuts. First and foremost, if Sabaton is not in your rotation, you are fucking up. Ow, fuck. What the hell just happened? Um, whenever I listen to Sabaton, I don't know if I want to start playing the guitar, if I want to start playing the drums, or I want to be a damn vocalist. They are so good and spot on, it makes me want to just do all- I want to be Sabaton. The entire band. I want to be it. Jesus. The sheer intensity. The sheer fucking intensity. It's insane. Wow. Every one of Sabaton's songs are nuts. Now, I want I do want to take a little bit of time after each song and at least talk about it, get some comments from you guys, but what the hell, dude? Okay, um, let's see. So Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers is about the smaller, well-trained, and well-equipped units of soldiers who would break the stalemates of the front of the front lines. Um, this pre-chorus right here, a glimpse of the future, new tactics in war, new doctrine in combat explored. As fast as lightning, there's no time to mourn. A glimpse of the future and Blitzkrieg is born. So the Blitzkrieg military doctrine, which only became possible due to mechanical advances in warfare, it is a surprise attack that combines a, a great and rapid force of armored, motorized, and me me mechani mechanized infantry together. Uh, with close air support. It intends to break through the lines of defense and dislocate the defender, not allowing them time to respond in the changing front line. The Blitzkrieg done by the German stormtroopers wasn't a real Blitzkrieg, but shared the same ideas. The first Blitzkrieg was in 1939, and Poland Blitzkrieg is German for lightning war. So as we are starting off this album, keep this in mind. It's like what you would do, the stormtroopers, you'd almost send them in first into battle to break the defenses down. We are starting off the album and mirroring what it's like to start a war uh, strategy. It's insane. Holy shit. Alright. Dreadnought. Let's see. Uh, real quick. Sorry, sorry. Sabaton Dreadnought lyrics. Just so we can have a basic understanding of what this album is about, okay? Let's go. And y'all gotta let me know your favorite song from the... Hell? I'm thrown off. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. The entire album. Already?
already the vocals sound very different. Joachim, what's going on? What's happening? Fantastic vocals, but very different from what I'm used to from a Sabaton song. It's interesting because it seems like a bit more of like a bit of a tamer song for Sabaton, but at the same time, they still embody all that power. Um, just the whether it's a normal Sabaton sounding song or not, it's like they have that oomph. They have it. They, they, uh, I don't know. Initially, the first like 30 seconds of this, I was being, I was like, mm, not positive about it, but so far, it's interesting. about this so far. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Not my favorite, but pretty good. Nothing at all. I like that. This makes me want to play so bad. <laughs> But I, I don't know what it is, if it's a laziness thing, it probably is. I mean, it's not by, definitely not my favorite, but very interesting. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's got to be the best part right there. That was this so far is fantastic right now. Um, like I said, I would I would not skip it when this if this song came on, but I don't think I'd seek it out. Let me know, let me know what y'all think, if you agree with that, or if this is maybe it's your favorite song on the album, I have no idea. The North Sea has drawn the mill. The fleets of the high seas are broke. A contest of tides has commenced. These days will dictate their fate. The grand fleet prepares their guns. Unleashed as Kind of feels like a filler song, like but on the on the spectrum of being like a better song, it's like a good filler song, you know. I do love that. Nothing at all. Sick. So I see some of y'all saying that this may be one of those songs that grows on you the more you listen to it. Upon first listen, I was decently impressed, 
Um, didn't stand out to me as much as Stormtroopers. That song really slapped hard. Um, but perhaps if I listened to Dreadnought a little bit more, it would be one of those songs that I do actually like. It's a grower. Okay. Um, I don't agree with that. I think that it's solid. Okay, cool. Well, maybe it's just from the fact that I'm listening to it for the first time and coming right off of Stormtroopers. Um, it was a good song. Don't get me wrong. Um, let's see what it was about. Dreadnought is dedicated to the massive battleship class Dreadnought and the naval conflict at Jutland. The chorus, immortalized over the time their legend will rise and their foes can't believe their eyes, believe their size. The Dreadnought was such a revolutionary warship that, to, that the Dreadnought era of battleships is forever immortalized in history. Oh shit, okay. This is particularly true because the Dreadnought era was the final era of battleships. Interesting. Dreadnoughts were li literal titans of the sea. Holy shit, look at this! Y'all can't really see it that well, but god damn. At the time of their construction, they were among, if not actually, the biggest ships in history. Jesus. And big guns, too? Man, that's nuts. Okay. So, dude, Dreadnought. Like I said, it's, a, it's one of those growers. I appreciate that. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and say that I like it more than I actually do because I know that subsequent listens from now, I will actually be enjoying it much more than I did the first go around. Next is the Unkillable Soldier. Guys, we have reacted to this. It's on the channel, but we're listening to the whole damn album. We're not about to skip songs, goddammit. Got a better chance of putting Cocoa Puffs in my ass. Let's go. I love this song. I love this song. This is just gonna be a jam. Can we just jam out together? I don't even give a shit. I want to see this shit live. That'd be so sick. Again, I got goosebumps. You'll see? I'll show y'all every time. I don't care. Fucking slapper, it goes so hard, dude. Oh, that song's so dirty. I need to, you know what I need? The song is so dirty. Oh, I need a little bit of hand sanitizer. It's just like, it makes me want to cry almost. If the song makes you want to cry, it's a damn slapper. I don't know what these dance moves are, but it's what I'm feeling. That is impressive. Mm. And that like dark choir coming.
This makes me feel like it should be at the end of Rocky. It's such an epic, victorious sounding song. Thank you. I go into this song on repeat all day. I'm not kidding. In the gym, out of the gym, driving, I don't give a shit. I will be jamming this song. Oh my god, dude. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, let's see. This song is about Adrian Carton Van w Wyert, a lieutenant colonel who was injured nine times during World War One and had fought in Soma uh, Somaliland, France, and Belgium. Despite this, he said he enjoyed the war. Dude, so basically the dude's a fucking badass, okay? He is an insane guy. This dude was injured nine times. And he was like, yeah, I enjoyed the war. What? What are you saying? Adrian, what kind of shit are you on? I mean, talk about patriotism. Talk about sheer, just a monster. Oh my God, this is what Joachim Broden had to say. Adrian Carton Van Wyer was Belgian born and fighting from the British fighting for the British in World War I, but had also fought earlier in Boer War and further back. He was almost like a comic book character, this over-the-top super soldier who wouldn't die no matter what the enemy threw at him. He's one of the craziest people I've ever read about, so we decided to do something different for him. It's a playful song somehow. It really is. I mean, that song, 100%, I agree with that. Very, very playful. He's a madman, 100%. Soldier of Heaven. We've reacted to this one too. This is also a song uh, that we've checked out that's on the channel, the reaction to it uh, with the music video. Um, and we're not skipping it, damn it, let's go. Dude, this album so far, what the fuck? Slipknot, y'all better come with it later this year, man. I'm telling you. Hmm. I forgot about this one. Great song. The, it's the catchiness for me, man. Like, I'm not kidding. Can you you can see the goosebumps, can't y'all? Because it is they don't stop. They do not stop. Song. <laughs> I appreciate y'all being here to jam it with me, man. I really do. Ow. Sheesh. So much dynamism in this album. Very power metal. Is Samus on power metal? I'm turning this all the way up. Oh! We to heaven. We night night. Such a slapper, dude. Mm. Right to this beauty? 
right to this beauty? God damn, let's go. And a live concert! Oh! It just makes me want to cry and just hold on to this song, dude. Ow. Oh. I haven't, you haven't heard that yet, dude. It is a slapper. Oh my god, that was good. Probably, ah, uh, it's got to be one of my favorite songs, man. It's got to be. Um, just so that we got this. Soldier of Heaven lyrics, genius. Go. And the Soldier of Heaven tells the story of a soldier who, like many of his brothers, um, froze to death in the Alps during World War I. The soldier speaks of horrors he witnessed as a spirit bound to the mountains. He makes mention of White Friday, a disaster that occurred in 1916 when an avalanche killed an estimated 10,000 Austrian and Italian soldiers. Um, whoa, what the hell's going on? And Coldy Lana, nicknamed... The Blood Mountain because of the unusually high number of casualties that occurred there. Basically, dude, it is just like... Oh my god, bro. I just, like I said, I want to cry, man. Um, holy shit. Alright, next song we got is Hellfighters, man. This is a song I have not heard. I'm going into this blind as the damn mice and Shrek. Wait, don't you get the intro and outro on Spotify? Uh, I, we reacted to the intro on YouTube. Um, get yourself ad block, bro. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go. Hellfighters. Fucking shit, that kind of scared me. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is fucking. You hear the damn richness of that? Fuck. It's almost unfair for any song coming after Soldier of Heaven because that song just slapped hard. Wow. Mm. I love that. Wow. Sabaton does a great job of like keeping us on our toes, allow not allowing us to know what's coming next, right? Awesome. Uh. 
Again with... Oh, shit. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe I'm gonna eat my words before I say them. I need to be careful. What? I mean, this is a good one, too, don't get me wrong. I love you guys, too, from Sweden. Much love, Sweden. Now, like I said, man, this may be one that grows on me, too, okay? We'll talk after the song. God damn it, that's awesome. So this may be an another grower. Right, because for me, coming right after Soldier of Heaven, I'm a bit underwhelmed, just to be completely honest, transparent, and upfront. Um, that being said, it was awesome. Whoa, Jesus, Mary Joseph, Alex Race of the Sea have official music video on YouTube. I love the scream he threw in, right? The scream that he threw in was nuts, it was awesome, very, very cool. Um, a bit more paced on this one. The dr yeah, I agree. The guitar and drums were a bit more placed on this one for sure. Uh, Race to the Seas of Banger. Love from Russia. Um, dude, so uh, we're not going to do uh, the music videos because that sometimes we'll get the video blocked. We're just going to be careful um, and keep going on Spotify. Oh, dude, my heart. Ah. Oh. You know, it sucks already. This sucks because we're halfway through and I don't want to be halfway through. I want to be, I want to, I want to start over. Okay, we're going to check out the lyrics, the Hellfighter Sabaton lyrics real quick. Just hold on tight, guys, before we move forward. Um, so Hellfighters is a song about the 369th Regiment that was mainly formed out of African-American and Puerto Rican soldiers that were not allowed to fight alongside the ordinary American soldiers. No fucking way, dude. Are you joking me? Oh, shit. The 369th Infantry, Infantry Regiment originally formed as the 15th New York National Guard Regiment before being reorganized as the 369th upon federalization and commonly referred to as the Harlem Hellfighters was an infantry regiment of the New York Army National Guard during World War I and World War II. Holy shit, I had no idea. I had no idea. Fuck, man. All right, guys, next up, we got Race to the Sea React to Smoking Snakes by Sabaton. Paolo, thank you so much for the donation, man. Um, well, it was the early 20th century. Okay, so let's let's get it. That's true. That's true, right? So keep in mind when that happened, early 20th century, early 20th century, very, very true. Astute observation, my friend. Um, Sabaton, Race to the Sea, let's go. We're starting that over. Do you hear that? that? Love that. Again. Love that. God damn it. Let's go. One more time. Sorry. No, stop. <laughs> okay. Back to the arch, too. Sabaton doesn't miss. Oh my god. Sounds like I'm damn coming myself. What the hell's going on? Dude, this song. 
Is this a hands up song? Eh, not as much. But hold on, maybe I'm wrong. Such a good chorus. Every time I hear the guitar solo, I feel the need to apologize to you. You sick bastard. Oh, God. A king and a soldier fighting shoulder and shoulder. That's a good king. That's a good king right there. To keep the last piece, piece of Belgium free. Uh, soldier fighting with the king makes me think of that Game of Thrones episode when Joffrey's king and everyone's like, yo, are you gonna go fight? And he's like, no, I'm not gonna fight. It's like, you're a fucking pussy. Apologize for the language, but my god. Dude, this song is really good. Fuck. Uh, dude, this this album is so good. Uh, every song I just get sadder and sadder though, because I don't want it to end. Sabaton, Race to the Sea lyrics. Let's see what this one's about, guys, before we move on. The song is about the decision from Albert of Belgium during World War I to flood the last part of Belgium and with the help of water prevent all of Belgium to fall into German hands. The king of the country, we are flooding the river. Close to Osser. The Osser is a river in France and Belgium. It flows in the North Sea at the town of Newport. During the Battle of Osser, King Albert... The first decided to flood the Polder West at the river with seawater. Holy shit, the river itself never flooded. This provided an obstacle for the Germans to uh, for the Germans and kept Belgium safe from complete occupation. Oh shit. No way. See a king and a soldier fighting shoulder. Albert I, King of Belgium, until his death in 1935, refused to leave his soldiers behind and flee to London, opting to instead fight alongside them. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Through all four years of the war, it has been said that German soldiers dared not to fire on him, lest they anger the Kaiser, to whom the king was related. What the fuck? Albert I was both the highest-ranking Allied officer and the only head of state to serve on the front lines of World War I. He died in a hiking accident. Oh my gosh, dude. Are you kidding me, bro? Absolutely insane history. All right, guys. Next song, we got Lady of the Dark. Okay? Let's go. Mm. Oh, shit. Sounds like a completely different type of subgenre of metal, honestly. Oh, dude, here we go. Fuck. In the alley of the graves, celebrated hero who has wandered through the dark. She stood before you, 
I'm gonna pause this right here just to say that I think this is gonna be one of my favorite songs. Don't know why, I just have that feeling. So, guys, tell me real quick, because I think that uh, Sabaton sounds like power metal, right? They typically sound like power metal. This song right here does not. Like I said, it sounds like a completely different subgenre of metal, and I want to ask you guys, because I'm not familiar enough with the subgenres to be like, this one is that, this is that. Lady of the Dark sounds like what type of subgenre of metal? Sounds like which subgenre? It's different from power metal. You know, that's that's kind of what I want to know. Um, what's going on, Max? What's up? What's up, guys? What's up? Uh, hard rock. Okay. Could be. Um, rap. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sabaton is power metal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady Dark. Read about, read about her story. Definitely will. Power metal. Yeah, no shit. Okay, I get it, Matthew. But like I said, it sounds like it's not. Almost sounds, yeah, a little rock and roll, I guess. I gotta do it, dude. Tell me to raise my hand. I gotta do it. Oh, it's cheesy, but I love it. Wow. It is, man. It's one of my favorites, man. I don't know the story of this lady. I'm excited to check it out, though. Oh, that was it. God damn, that was quick. Three minutes and three seconds, dude. What the hell? Lady of the Dark. All right, guys, we're checking this out. Lady of the Dark lyrics. What is this one about? Lady of the Dark is a song about Malunka Savic. She was a Serbian woman who took her brother's place in the army. No way. Partly disguised as a man, she would eventually be among the... Most decorated soldiers of World War One, dude. Lady of the Dark. What is her name again? Milun Milunka. Milunka. She just Mulaned everybody. She just flat out Mulaned the whole damn world. Oh my God, dude. What the fuck took her brother's place? I wonder why she took her brother's place in the army. Lady of the Dark. Put your hands up. Fucking right. Put them hands up for Lady of the Dark. Jesus Christ. Wow. And not only did she take her brother's place, but she was among one of the most decorated soldiers of World War I. Oh my gosh, dude. Put him up for that. Yeah. So he wouldn't have to fight. Why else? Yeah, I get that. But like, what was there something wrong with him? Maybe she just loved her brother so damn much. 
You took more than 60 soldiers captive alone. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? She is the most decorated woman soldier to this day. Oh my god. Yeah, that was that's my question, Sclumsy. Why didn't he fight? Was he too young? Was he injured? Was he a little itch? <laughs> she was like, I got you. But she Mulaned it, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Next up, we got the Valley of Death, and I am excited, man. The only three more songs, man. This is a bummer. Let's get it. All of you just like, no, starting off strong as hell. And I want to take a second to say, if you are not subscribed to the channel, guys, hit that subscribe button. Tons of new, fresh, amazing, awesomely fucking sick-ass content coming your way. Enough plug. Back to Sabaton. Interesting song so far, The Valley of Death. Real quick, I wanted to touch on that. Is that someone said that her brother was was very sick and would have certainly died in the war. So back to Lady Dark real quick. Um, super intense. Uh, let's continue with The Valley of Death. Power metal. If you don't love power metal, there's something wrong with you. I swear, dude. Power metal is like. Nah. <laughs> so good, man. God damn it. Yeah. Oh. Protected by wires and guns. This seems almost like another Billy song, I may say. Not 100% positive yet. Don't damn crucify me as my initial response. Bottom on, make change my mind. A song of refrains, man. If you don't like this, I know what to tell you. I did speak too soon because I do like this. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did really like that, man. 
Very interesting, dude. Holy shit. Let's see what that one is. The Valley of Death by Sabaton. The Valley of Death, Sabaton lyrics. Boom. So this song is about the British... Oh, what the fuck? This song is about the Battle of Doiran, Doiran, where Bulgarian troops stood against a larger invading British force. Due to strong command and strong fortifications, they were able to hold the line. Wow. Bit of a David versus Goliath situation, right? And the Bulgarian troops, and they held their own against the British forces. Very intense. Did Alex Hefner get LASIK this week? No, he didn't. He's wearing contacts, and they are bothering the shit out of his eyes. But I said, forget it! We're doing something different. I was actually nervous as hell to come on to any type of content with you guys and not be wearing my glasses because I thought it was like part of my brand, but we're getting to another bullshit story. Who cares? We all, we all want to hear the damn songs, as do I. The Christmas Truce. Guys, we have reacted to this song on the channel. Reaction is up live on the channel to the actual music video, but we are not skipping this because we're doing the full damn album. So let's get it. Christmas Truth. Sabaton, baby. The war to end all wars. Let's go. Mm. I remember this was this was deep, dude. Another ballad, ballad-like song, right? This shit slaps harder than my wife. <laughs> I'm seeing y'all comment. Y'all are funny. Oh, no, no, no. This is with yo. Joachim on the piano, I think, on the keys Silence. in the music video. Silence, alright, I'll shut up. Silence on a cold winter day After many months on the battlefield And we were used to the violence Then all the candles went silent Dude, this one is deep. Fuck, this one is intense. Voices sang to me from Oh. This one has a different energy than every other song on the whole album. Yeah. The story behind this song is nuts. For those of y'all that know, you know, right? Shit, man. For soldiers to put their differences away at night and drink and bullshit and play cards and then the next day go slaughter each other, it's one of the most insane happenstance things that went on in history. And it is so cool that Sabaton made a song about that. I can't believe it. That's unreal. Being able to compartmentalize real life and then war and life. It's just an amazing story. This song makes me sad, man. Oh, I haven't forgotten those rolls. Yo, I came with the rolls. It's beautiful.
It makes me sad, man. I'll tell y'all why in a second. What's up, Zade? What's going on, guys? It's one of my favorite albums. This is gonna be one of my favorite albums of the year. I'm telling y'all that right now. Oh, shit. The saddest part of Christmas truce was after was the aftermath. Soldiers got separated after that day, sent to different fronts, and replaced with new ones because they refused to shoot at each other. Hmm. And soldiers were executed for this truce. That gives me goosebumps, man. <laughs> That's not my favorite song musically, but it is my favorite story behind the song of the album. And I'm not taking anything away from the song. The song is absolutely beautiful. It's insane, dude. Such a beautiful composition, but I'm just, it's so sad, man. It is unbelievably sad. Talks a huge lesson in terms of like psych human psychology, right? But uh, where's Jordan Peterson when you need him? Um, Fuck, man. All right. Christmas truce. We already touched on the meaning. Uh, so here we go, guys. Christmas truce was the first single release. Okay, okay, okay. The war to end all wars. The song tells the story of the truce that took place during Christmas of 1914, the first year of World War I. This song has Christmas at its heart, as you can hear Carol of the Bells many times in the song, mostly from the piano. That's so cool. I forgot about that little tidbit. Very interesting. During this truce, German and British so uh, troops stopped fighting after the Germans were heard singing Christmas songs. And that's when an English-speaking German soldier called out for a temporary ceasefire. The ceasefire saw the exchanging of gifts and <laughs> soccer match between the two armies, dude. It's like at the end of the day, man, we are people. We are the same, dude. At the end of the day, we are people, we are the same, and we don't want to go to war. Okay? Fuck, man, it took a turn, but uh, Versailles... Let's get it, man. Last song on the album. There may be an, an outro that's on YouTube as well from what y'all were telling me at the beginning of this live stream, but uh, let's keep chugging along, man. Versailles, I'm super sad this is, this is over. Almost over, if not over already. Let's go. Versailles is like a place in Paris, the war right? The been raging and ravaging for four years, leaving millions of casualties from all sides. In the trenches of the front lines, people have asked the question, what Oh, this is, is the, the outro. How many more must die? Exactly five years after the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, Germany is forced to sign an unconditional surrender. Versailles in France. I've been to Versailles. Like the Hall of Mirrors, right? The city of Versailles is chosen. It's on a bit of a positive note, man. You gotta love it. But hopeful peace falls upon the European continent. America returns to their shores, Russia tend to their own matters, and the British Empire disbands their colonial forces. This is so insane, man. What a good album. Countries. The war that would end oh all my god, dude. Over. But not everyone agrees in the underground 
something is Again, how many times am I getting goosebumps throughout this shit, bro? War never ended. War will never entirely die. War will never entirely die. It will change. It will evolve, it will change. Yeah. And war will return. Sooner than we think, dude. That is so fuck, man. That is so fitting for what's going on in today's day and age right now, man. Ends on a positive note. Yeah, I mean, it ends on a positive energy, right? But like, definitely not on a positive note. I'm sorry, baby. You hang on the wall. I'm sorry, I can't do that to you. I'm sorry, I can't do that to you. Mm. Listen to that. Mm. Unbelievable album so far, dude. That's a great comment right there. Who would have thought uh, that back... At, what was that comment? Um, uh, the last line. A hint that the next album will be about World War II. Maybe. Um, who would have predicted back then that the war to end all wars will have a sequel? Nobody. And I do want to take a second to read this donation by Intimidate Toro. Uh, hey, it's a $20 donation. First of all, thank you so much for that donation, man. Super awesome. I appreciate the love and support. Hey, Alex, I'll be retiring from the Army National Guard on December 7th. Huge congratulations and thank you so much for your service, man. After 21 years part-time and after drill last uh, month, I'm in retired reserves until then. Thanks to finding your channel, I want to see Sabaton live now. Bad, lol. Dude, me too. I'm right there with you, brother. All right, let's finish this up. It's like that. Yeah. A bit, it's, it sounds positive, right? And I have a feeling because we got about 30 seconds left, 20 seconds left, something's not going to be so positive. Does it just end? Yeah, it just ends. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh my god, brother. Dude, that album. Oh my god. I kind of want to hear uh, What is it? What was the song we were jamming hard? Unkillable Soldier. That was probably it. Dreadnought. Oh, dude. Um, so I just wanted to say unbelievable album, dude. I'm going to have to come and make a separate video about uh, like our album review for The War to End All Wars because it definitely deserves it. What I thought about this unbelievably powerful it's power metal right every time i hear a power metal band i'm like dude that was powerful makes me feel powerful and awesome the intensity the amount of musicianship in there the amount of talent is so i, I you cannot understand it from just a one time listen through this album it is unbelievable dude Okay, so the amount of time and effort that went into this, the mix master is unbelievable. The energy, the the cadence that they carry, the messages that they're, they're um, relaying in their songs, and the overall message of this album, how it goes through kind of a perspective, it mirrors war almost, right? It mirrors that. So, oh my God, dude, probably one of my favorite albums. Um, not kidding, brother. So, I mean, Sabaton, dude, they came out with a slapper, 10-song slapper, uh, and I cannot... I just can't believe it. 
And if you guys like this stuff, dude, drop some comments down below letting me know you want me to do more live reactions to full-length albums, man. I mean, this is definitely doable. Maybe we could make this a weekly thing, maybe a Saturday thing, maybe a Sunday thing, I'm not sure. Um, but all in all, dude, that was unreal. And I want to say thank you so much to every single person who's taken the time out of your busy schedule to stop by this video. Um, say what's up, check it out. Just come over here and jam with me. I mean, that's so cool that we get to hang out and just jam some music together. It adds a whole nother element to it that it's live and I'm actually engaging with you guys here. So um, I just want to say thank you for everything. I don't deserve your love and your happiness and your positivity and your viewership. I really don't. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much. It does not go unnoticed. It, it really makes me just so happy to have a community of people here. Um, guys, tell your friends about the channel. Let's grow this motherfucker huge. I want it to be a million uh, subscribers by the end of the year. That'd be great. Um, and I just want to say again, thank you to you watching this right now. You are fucking awesome. Just stay that way, okay? Just keep spreading positivity, keep being a light in people's world, and just, you're incredible. One more thing. Uh, actually, the last four characters are numbers. They have their own meaning, but Intimidator is obviously the main nickname of the late Dale Ear ah, Earnhardt Sr. Got it. Um, guys, have an incredible rest of your weekend. Thank you to everybody that donated. Thank you to everybody that stopped by. Thank you to everybody that jammed uh, with me, and I love you guys so much. Go compliment someone. It will make them feel incredible, but it will make you feel better. Trust me. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Love y'all. Peace! Whoa, I just hiccuped. Peace! I just hiccuped again. It's not gonna end.